On today's video, we'll be discussing how to install a race chip on a BMW S55 motor available across many of the M models. Before installing the race chip, please wait until your engine is cool enough to work on. Put your parking brake or emergency brake on. If your vehicle is equipped with an alarm system, please disable it. Pop the hood, roll up the windows, close the doors, and press the lock button on your key fob and move that key fob 30 feet away. You're gonna wait about 10 minutes after for all the electricity to clear from underneath the hood. On the S55 motor, the race chip will connect to the boost pressure sensor here with the A connection, and the B connection will go to the manifold pressure sensor located down here underneath the intercooler. First up, we'll be showing you how to install the A connection onto the turbo boost pressure sensor. So be on the driver's side, right on the side of the intercooler here, nice and easy to get to. Suggest using a small flathead screwdriver to remove the sensor plug. You'll notice that on the race chip, female end of the harness will have a smooth side and a side with a mounting tab. We'll want the locking tab on the OEM plug to go onto the smooth side of the race chip wiring harness. So again, the locking tab on the same side as the smooth side on the race chip harness, just like that. And then we'll take the race chip male end. The gray locking tab will go towards the outside of the car. Go ahead and put it right onto the OEM sensor that you just unplugged. Make sure you get it on there. And press the gray locking tab until it snaps. Now to get to the B connection on the manifold pressure sensor down below, we're first gonna remove the black rubber gasket from the back side of the motor to easily access the manifold pressure sensor. Be very careful, you're gonna just gently pull away. Don't wanna tear anything. We're just simply removing a little side of it so it's easier for us to reach. Next up is the B connection to the manifold pressure sensor and it's located behind the intercooler. To remove the sensor plug, we're first gonna press down on the black locking tab on the back side of the sensor and gently pull backwards. Now with the sensor plug removed, we're gonna take the female end of the race chip wiring harness. Again, same thing as the A. The locking tab will go to the smooth side of the female end of our harness. So with the sensor back here, we'll plug into the female end of the race chip harness and we wanna make sure we plug it in until it clicks to lock. Then we'll connect the male end of the race chip harness onto the sensor plug itself. As soon as you get it plugged in, make sure you press in the gray locking tab until it snaps. Next up is to install the four mounting pins on the race chip itself. The really nice thing about these mounting tabs is that there actually is a locking tab on each side of each pin. So if you ever need to remove the race chip for any reason, like service or warranty work, instead of having to cut the zip ties, you can simply press the locking tabs to leave the zip ties and mounting pins in place, but remove the race chip. The other nice thing about these two is you can actually take the zip ties themselves and mount them up and down or left and right. In this application, we've actually routed the race chip wiring harness around the rubber gasket on the back side of the motor. And we're gonna mount the race chip right here next to the intake. Next on the installation is to remove the deactivation plug. Now it's very important that you hang on to this deactivation plug. If you need to revert the car back to stock or to remove the race chip, you're actually gonna put the deactivation plug in place of the race chip. So I'd throw this in your glove box or maybe your center console. Then we're gonna install the race chip. We're gonna plug it in. It's very important the first time that we do actually plug the race chip in, if you have the GTS, you get no LED lights or if you have the RS or S, there's not a green LED light. The first time we install the unit, we wanna make sure there's no power underneath the hood. Using the longer of the supplied zip ties, we're gonna mount the race chip in place. Last but certainly not least, zip tie the race chip into place. Last but not least is to cut the excess ends off the zip ties to make it look OEM. Start in the default setting of the race chip for the first time you test drive the car. If everything works great, you can then move the race chip to the next level up. 
be aware that the car needs some time to adapt before releasing the full performance upgrade. Now, get out, drive, and enjoy your race chip.